Good morning, it's me. I'm back, hello. I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and you can find me uh, at my business page um, on dazzledbystamping.com. Um, my Facebook business page is Dazzled by Stamping also, and I'm so happy to be here with you. And I feel like I'm having a hair issue today, and I can't tell where it's at. So hopefully it's not too distracting to you, because it's a little bit distracting to me. Uh, it's not so bad now. Okay. Hi, my love. I'm glad you're here. Are you out on the dock, or are you just doing your thing normal? Uh, so I'm here. I had a wonderful um, week last week. I never know whether to call it a week or a weekend. felt kind of like a week. We started in the middle of it. We went to, well... I, along with two of my team members, um, Debbie Anderson and Nadine Stolt, we all went to Orlando for um, Stampin' Up's uh, on-stage live event. It was a three-day live convention, and oh, it was so cool. It's amazing to be there. Okay, so there were probably, I heard a range of numbers, um, but the most common one that I heard was, Hi, Judy. I'm glad that you're here. Um, the most common number that I heard was around 7,000 demonstrators. So it was really crazy. I still have to pull all my pictures together and and um, blog about that and show you that and whatever. But it was crazy and amazing. And it was cool, too, because um, uh, I don't know how many of you know, but we have demonstrators in, well, obviously Canada and the UK. We also have... France, Germany, Austria, New Zealand, Australia, um, Japan. Um, I know I'm missing at least one. Dear, if you remember another one, tell me. Um, uh, anyway, except for Japan, I think Japan was the only one missing. Somebody from each country was there. It was, it was just really cool. Um, so lots of demonstrators, lots of prize giveaways lots of, we got lots of new product um which i'm i'm not actually going to show you new product because you guys can't get it so um so i'll have to show you uh when it's closer to when you can order it so um oh we so i have to show you this box so this box is just really cool all in itself even if we just got this box it's cool um I don't know how big it's like a shirt box but thicker so what we got in here was our bag everybody gets a bag when you go to on stage so we got this bag just a sec I gotta get it in the can you see it oh the light is bad we got this bag hi Stephanie I'm glad you could make it so we got this bag and it had in it um our stamp set that we got free right away and our um our ribbons and because you get ribbons for your title and your and your um whatever achievements that you got whatever promotions that you got and i have a story about that from my husband for on my blog sometime <laughs> he's always helping me keeping it real honey <laughs> um so we got lots of stuff it was so cool um, and it was just fun to be with that many demonstrators we got to stamp and have lunch together and um, just learn things and it was just amazing and of course be in sunny Florida was a great thing too um, so that was amazing uh, but as I told Todd um, I was in air conditioning most of the time <laughs> It was just really busy, and we were we were kind of tired, but it was it was a great great time. So um, one of the things I I one of the things that I came home with is I'm really really excited to grow my team. Um, we have an amazing uh, promotion that's coming up, and it's kind of going on right now too. Like you could get a part of it right now. Um, but I don't have it to show you yet. I will have it. I hope I'll have it next week. So maybe for next week's Facebook Live. We'll see. Because I just remembered I'm going to have to do my live next week on Tuesday. Because um, 
I think Wednesday is going to be when I go pick up Liz from school. So, um, anyway, I'll, I'll let you know for sure. Um, but anyway, I'm hoping that I have this promotional item next week. I'm just really excited. It's just, it's just, it was really fun to be with my dazzling demos at on stage. We had a great time and okay. So I got, um, there were, there were, there were a bunch of things that I got recognition for. Um, some of them were more simple than others, but three things I got to walk across the stage for. I've never, well, no, I did walk across the stage for earning, no, I wasn't there for Alaska. Before I earned Alaska, I earned enough points for, they at least recognize that I earned points, but, um, no, so I got to walk across for my career sales and my, uh, promotion to Silver Elite, and there was one other thing I can't remember. Oh, earning grease. Yay. Um, so it was fun because, um, I don't know if you remember me talking about, um, my friends and Stampin' Up! family, cruise family, that we had dinner with every night on the cruise. Um, uh, Lisa Marie had the same, um, Okay, bye Stephanie, thanks for letting me know. <laughs> um, uh, Lisa Marie had some of the same things that I did, so we walked across the stage together. I think she had one more thing than me, but anyway, so it was really cool to be able to have it with her. So anyway, um, so that, it was just, it was just really cool to see friends that I've met over the years. And on cruise, hi Marsha. And I see Judy's here too. Judy Grinnell is here too. Hi. Um, thanks for watching. I love having you here. It makes me happy. Um, uh, so it was just fun to see all my all my friends that I've made and and see amazing demonstrators do, do amazing things. I I joked about this. I think it was to my team. And then I to my to my um, club last night. So the the person who had the number one sales um, in the U.S. was uh, she had four hundred and forty-five thousand dollars in sales in one year. So and she was top seller. <laughs> I that was my career sales. <laughs> so you know I'm I'm holy cow way off. But so I just it was just really cool to celebrate all of them and. Um, um, the other thing that I thought was funny too is, okay, so that was number one and then number two sales in the U.S. was 309,000. And, uh, when I told my team, I was like, slacker. <laughs> uh, anyway, it was just, it was cool. So, um, so today I'm planning to show you something that, um, Stampin' Up! brought back in the full catalog this year. And I have had one since it came out. And I've been, I actually had it on my list of like what I wanted to, um, what I wanted to show uh, on my lives. And then we got to see it at, on stage also. Somebody, somebody showed it. So, um, so what I'm planning to do is show spectrum pads. Do you guys remember these from years ago? So, okay, this is not how it comes. They come uninked. But what I like to do when I get mine and decide on what colors that I am doing. Hi, Fran. Thanks for watching. Um, when I decide what colors that I'm going to do, then I like to make a sticker. So I used my multi-purpose adhesive sheet and um, put it on the back of cardstock and cut it to really thin. And so I colored my with my markers. So I have Smoky Slate and Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, uh, Blackberry Bliss and of course Rich Razzleberry you know that has to be on there for my first one anyway it doesn't necessarily have to be in every spectrum pad that I make but my first one it needs to be so um, in case you aren't familiar with these at all or don't remember them when we had them um, what they are so I told you they come uninked and um, so they're it's a it's a rainbow of ink pads. You cannot tell just by looking at this what colors they are. They all just look dark. Um, that's why I like having the label on here too. Um, thanks, Marsha. Um, I, I just love these colors and I thought it was good for fall too. So um, what you do is you have this, this, this set of 
individual ink pads, but then you slide them together. You push this little thing to slide them together. Sorry, it's hard to do this way. They're tight. So then you have one single ink pad, but it's multicolor. And when you're done, you slide it apart um, because you don't want the ink to um, to bleed so much. It's still going to, um, but you don't want it to bleed so much. So you pull them apart. Hi, Lisa Marie. I was talking about you. <laughs> um, hi, Sharon. So another thing that I think is smart, I don't know who made these pads. These are not original Stampin' Up! Stampin' Up! had somebody made make them. Um, but I appreciate the wisdom in the design that you can't put the lid back on. There's this little notch thingy here. You can't put the lid back on until you pull them back apart. So you can't just store them where they're all free-flowing on each other. They're always, there's the separation. So, um, anyway, so yeah, I, I love these. And um, so I'm going to show spectrum pads. So I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I'm not showing you my project first, but I will show you so you can see the colors a little bit better. Let me put them in order. I have my markers out because I, I used my markers to, to ink up the pads. Okay, so yeah, Lisa Marie, I've had two, well, I had one of them right from the beginning when they came out. And then I ordered another one because I knew I wanted to do a Facebook Live. And so I still have one I can ink up yet, but so I have this one made up. Okay, so these are the colors that I chose for my um, my first Spectre pad. So, um, so I'm already having, having uh, voice issues. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to turn you down. So I won't be able to see your comments, but make sure that you comment while I'm talking. Ask questions if you have any. Um, the project that I'm making today, um, if you would like to have it, um, you know that I always give away the project that I make. Um, you need to like my this video, this live video, and you need to share it, and you need to come back and comment that you shared it. Okay? So those three things. Like, share, comment that you shared. Um, and of course, I just love when you comment anyway while I'm, while I'm working. So um, feel free to just tell me whatever. So I'm going to put you down so I won't be able to see your comments um, while I'm doing it. Um, but I will get back to you uh, if you have a comment or question or whatever. So um, I guess before I put you down, just a sec, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. Um, it's funny, I'm not sure that I had this in mind for when I showed the Spectrum Pad, but um, this was an idea that I got from uh, on stage. So I'm using this stamp set called Floral Statements. Um, uh, it definitely looks like one that needs to be colored, um, but especially when you have a Spectrum Pad, it does not need to be. Actually, I'm gonna do it in a little bit different way, but. Um, so there's a stamp set coming out. I don't remember the name. I honestly don't even remember the words. Oh, yeah, I do. It's a birthday. It's, a birthday. it's coming out in um, the Occasions catalog. At least one birthday, if not two. I'm, I don't remember for sure. Um, but it's going to look a lot like this. So it has the... I don't know what you call this. What do you call this kind of collage letters and picture kind of thing. So I'm going to use this on my um, on my sample today. Okay. And it is, let me see. I got to look. I wrote it down. Um, so Floral Statements is on page 150 of the full catalog. Um, uninked Spectrum Pads are on page 202. Um, they're $12. So, um, and do you guys all have ink refills too? Those are on page, well, they're by where you buy all the colors of um, ink pads and cardstock and all that pages 183 to 187 is the second column so um, anyway you can find whatever colors you want there for your spectrum pads on there okay so now I'm gonna put you down and get started okay so um, please comment or whatever while I'm working and but I'll just have to get back to you when I'm done so I have my um, spectrum pad as I told you and I'm gonna put it together. Oh, I I had a 
a fight with Blackberry Bliss and kind of got it everywhere. So sorry for nasty fingers while I'm stamping. This is really hard to get in. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, just a sec, i got to remember how I did this. I wanted this this way. Okay, so as you can see, this pad, is, or this stamp, is bigger than this pad. So what I do when I have something like this, oh, I wanted to show you a, a quick one first. Okay, so I'm do, first I'm doing, this is Wish from the um, Broadway, Broadway Birthday stamp set. I'm just going to show you this really quick. And where did I put my, sorry, I need, this will help me line up better. Okay, so this will just, this will just work right on here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going back and forth, up and down, but I'm also moving it just a little bit this way. Um, because I don't want there to be lines on it, I want it to be blended well. So this is just a really quick showing you of the colors that, oops, that are there. Okay, so here's my wish. Kind of cool, right? I love the rainbow look. Okay, so I just want to do that for a quick a quick show. I actually have a card with that too. Okay, so that was one that fit right on this pad, but this one is too big. Um, so what I do with this is I do the same thing. I start on one end and I go back and forth. I'm kind of not perfectly going straight up and down because I remember I don't want those lines because even though they're together they still are a little bit separated so I did that and then I'm gonna look at my stamp and see where I ended with color here so this is my last one this is uh, rich razzleberry so then I'm gonna come back this way and I'm gonna put where my rich razzleberry was kind of lined up with rich razzleberry and come back up the other way Okay, so now I have it all, let me see if I can show you, all inked up and wet. Okay. So I have my white piece of Whisper White cardstock. And this is an e-block, by the way. I'm going to stamp it right on here. These bigger blocks, you need to make sure that you have good pressure all over the thing. Oh, it kind of went off. All right, I'll give you my good one. Okay, so here's my thanks. All right, now before it dries completely, oh, I want to open my, I opened my ink pad back up. Now these are not flip top like our normal ones, so make sure that you store them upside down. Helps things stay to the top. Um, where'd it go? Oh, shoot. Oh, there it is. Okay, so before it's completely dry, I'm using my Wink of Stella, and I actually want to color in all of my I want to color in all of the um, the leaves and flowers. So I'm going to do part of it and then show you what I'm doing, and then come back quick. Okay, so my Wink of Stella kind of blends this color in. Can you see it? All right, so I'm going to keep going with that. So I have the shimmer from the wink, but then also the blend of the color um, from here. So I'm kind of trying to stick with one color at a time and then um, move up to the next one as it blends to the next one. So I want... Um, flowers. This is why I don't color on camera. I just stop talking. <laughs> so I want my flowers. I'm not bothering with stems. I want the flowers and the actual leaves. Now I'm getting up here to the to the um, Blackberry Bliss. Okay. So here I have my colored thanks. Okay, 
Now, because I kind of went off on this, it makes me a little bit sad. So I'm not going to finish putting the card together. I'm just going to show you the one that I finished. So here's my card. So I put it on. Remember, my colors are Smoky Slate, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Rich Razzle, or Blackberry Bliss, then Rich Razzleberry, and then back, Black up to Blackberry Bliss. Um, so I put it on Mossy Meadow, and this is um, black foil sheets using with the um, simple stripes embossing folder, and then the shimmery black ribbon. Can you see the shimmer in there? I don't know if you can. I feel like you probably can't. Well, maybe if I tip it a little bit. So anyway, so this is a way, uh, a perfect way for me, I'm going to put you guys back up, a perfect way for me, thank you Lisa Marie, thank you Marsha, um, perfect way for me to not have to color. Well, I did kind of color, but I didn't have to choose my colors. I already did that with my stamping. So I didn't have to go, okay, I need green in this leaf and oh, I need to blend this more. And um, I just have color, just period. So, um, so I used to do this all the time when we had spectrum pads because um, you know my love of coloring. <laughs> okay, so here's one. So this is the one that I'm giving away even though um, uh, I'm just going to have to make another one, and I'm not redoing it right now on camera. So this is the giveaway. So I have a couple more to show you. This is the first one that I did, actually. So here's the hello. I did the same kind of coloring, um, but there's just a little bit less of the flowers, or I just did the flowers. I don't think I did the leaves on this one. Nope, just the flowers. Um, so there's this. And then I also put on one of these um, snowflake trinkets um, I don't remember who pointed out to me some of them are more rounded like like I think this is a rounded one like the the center of it looks more like a flower and that's what the intention is so some of them are more rounded and look like a flower and some of them are more pointy and look like a, a snowflake and I don't remember where I where I put them so I could show you the difference. But anyway, so here's another one. Um, oh, and this is the the ribbon. It's silver edged. <laughs> yeah, yeah Marsha. I have a hard time not saying trinklets now. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so this is the, um, the silver edged. I think we just call the ribbon metallic edged. Um, but there's white with silver. Vanilla with gold and then berry burst with silver also. Um, this background is Blackberry Bliss. Okay. This one is a really, really, really simple use of the of the um, spectrum pad. I just did a congratulations. I have the, I forgot, the floral, the new floral um, embossing folder. I love it. With some Winka Stella in the petals, and I love the polka dot ribbon. You know I do. So this one was just a really simple use of it, and then this one. This one's kind of fun. I don't know. I I don't know how I came up with this one, but I just like it. Okay, so I have my my spectrum wish here that I showed you earlier, and then I did my buffalo check. I so much love it in Night of Navy, and then pulled the other colors, some of the other colors that are um, in my spectrum pad too. So this is from Buffalo Check plus the Balloon Punch plus um, uh, Broadway Birthday. Ah, I don't know why I can't remember that. So yeah, so that's my, that's my card. I really like this one. I really, really do. I also tried to do a um, Winka Stella up here in the balloons to give the reflection. Hi, Cindy. Are you back feeling back to normal yet? <clears throat> Cindy and I were talking. She went to Orlando also, and um, we were just dragging since we got back. It's just rough. I don't, I, I just, so much walking and um, 
I, we even didn't go to bed at that late of time. At least I didn't. Yeah, I, I think it's a good great card, guy card too, Marsha. Thanks. Um, anyway, I just, I always have a hard time getting back into the swing of things after I've been not doing what I'm supposed to. <laughs> not yet. Okay. Um, so, I'm trying to think of, oh, I do have some things to tell you. So, a reminder. Um, I believe next week I'm going to be doing my Facebook Live on Tuesday because I will be traveling like crazy on Wednesday, I believe. That's my plan. And um, so there's that. Um, if you would like this card that I, I kind of made on here, <laughs> I kind of messed it up, so I'll give you the good one. Um, uh, if you like that card, want to win that, you need to like the video uh, share the video and comment that you shared it so then you'll be entered for a drawing and I'll do that on Monday I was kind of late this week but I still got it out um, also there's a few more things to tell you um, I told you about Joyous Noel and enamel shapes were non-orderable they're all gone um, a whole bunch a few things from the Santa's workshop are also gone um, the, the whole make it kit that you can just grab one number and there's a whole bunch of things and the card pack and the cards and envelopes um, I'm sorry you can't order those anymore um, and I hope you weren't planning on coming to my timeless tidings um, class because they did go on back order so everybody that's already ordered you're all set but <laughs> you're not gonna get them in time for class for being able to come so I don't mean to have all bad news. <laughs> all right, so I think I shared everything that I needed to. Um, Spectrum pads, you can get, um, they're in the full catalog, so they're not going away. Um, they're $12, page 202, and um, and I kind of love them. And I'm, uh, oh, I have an idea. Tell me what colors you think I should make my next ink pad from. Um, that would be a fun thing. Tell me what what you like, or if you had one, what would you make? Um, so you got there's five colors. So you have five choices. Um, if you want to be simple and just go, you need to do blues or whatever. That's fine. But if you have a specific color combination, tell me. I want to hear what what you would do. Um, and maybe I'll make mine that way. I don't know. I haven't decided yet what I'm doing. So. Um, Anyway, I think that's it. So I thank you so much for coming and crafting with me and chatting with me. And if you have questions, let me know. And um, I will talk to you next week. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.